Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. So God is saying that it's already known. There's no need to hide it any longer. So I remember growing up, I'd always be so insecure about my, my toe. Because there's like one of the toes, it seems like it didn't grow uh, like properly. It didn't form properly. It's much shorter. It should have been like a bit, a bit longer. So it always made me insecure about my toes. So I always made sure that I wear uh, closed up shoes or I always hide, I always hide my, uh, that particular toe. And I think I got this from, cause my parents' toes are fine. But I saw my my grandmother, her toes, like they looked like mine, like exactly like mine. So I can see that, oh, this is something that uh, it's it's in the genes. But it always made me feel so insecure. So when I would go into a relationship, I would still continue like hiding my hiding my toes. But to people, it was not really much of a, a big deal. And even when I finally dis decided that, oh, let me disclose my toe is like this, they're like, they didn't see it as a big deal. And they're like, oh, we've already seen it. So it was not really a big deal. Well, to me, I considered it as a big deal. And I tried to console it for, for some time until I felt comfortable in him in a relationship but god is also saying in your life you might be trying to hide certain aspects of your life and you feel like they are not perfect enough you feel like people can't see you in them or sometimes you are so insecure about your face you are so insecure about your weight you are so insecure about so many things about yourself but god is saying that it's not really much of a big deal and you might find that you haven't covered it enough covered it up enough people have already seen it and they like you just the way you are it's not not going to stop them from pursuing their interests or pursuing their intentions when it comes to you so stop fearing stop fearing stop being so insecure stop hiding those aspects about your life some of you might be covering your faces so much sometimes with makeup because you don't want people to see your scars you don't want people to see your acne you don't want people to see certain parts about you and you feel like you are hiding it but when people look at you they can already see that there is something Thing in your face that you are hiding and it doesn't really bother them it doesn't really bother them so god is still saying in your life there's no need to hide they already know he already knows it's like when Jesus was talking to the Samaritan woman at the well and she said and he said to her go and call your husband and the woman said that no I don't have a husband and God said and Jesus said to her that you are right that you don't have a husband yes you've been married so many times and even the man that you are living with is not even your, your husband she was trying to hide that aspect of her life that aspect that she felt embarrassed about concerning her life but God already knew knew there was no need to be hiding her life hiding her reality from him because he already knew so god is also saying to you today that come before him as you are bear as you are come before him just as you are he wants you that way there's no need to be hiding yourself in the mighty name of jesus that is why you could even see with adam and eve after they had eaten from the forbidden fruit and then now they had the wisdom that they were not dressed now god knew god still wanted them closer god still wanted to see them god even made them gave them the clothing now when he felt when they felt so exposed so god is saying that he will never judge you yes you might be feeling so insecure yes you might be feeling so exposed and you don't want to be exposed but to god god is saying that you can go to him just the way you are he still loves you there's nothing that can stop him from loving you he will accept you just the way you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.